Italian food is the stuff of legend, and a big part of the reason many people choose to travel to Italy. Italy's cuisine tastes so good in large part to the high quality of ingredients that go into it extra virgin olive oil, fresh tomatoes, and mozzarella, free-range eggs and meat, usually sourced as close to home as possible. While a list of the best dishes in Italy could and does fill volumes, there are a few staples of the Italian pantheon of food that you simply must try while you're here. Watch this video for, for the top 10 Italian foods you need to try. Number 1. Pizza Pizza was born in Naples, the city that claims its paternity, and where tomato sauce is certainly added to the thin layer of dough. It soon became one of the symbols of national unity and the gastronomic flag of our country in every corner of the world. Pizza Margarita was certainly born in Naples, the most famous and the simplest of pizzas that with tomato sauce, mozzarella, and basil also brings the colors of our flag to the plate. It is said that Queen Margarita of Savoy, during one of her stays in the city of Villa Rosebury, wanted to try that popular, simple, and delicious food that many of her fellow citizens loved. Brandy's Pizza chef in Chaya made her try the pizza and called it by her name, Margarita. You cannot take a tour of Italy without tasting a real Neapolitan pizza, perhaps tasted in Spacanapoli, and without the enrichment of too many useless ingredients. Of course, nowadays there are good and also excellent pizzerias all over the country, and often this humble dish becomes an excuse to be a base of excellent dough with ingredients put on it. But the basic consumer pizza, whether Italian or foreign, is basically a choice between soft Neapolitan-style pizza or the crispest Roman-style pizza. Other regions offer similar recipes, the best known of which are the Palermo Esfinzuni or the recipes of the Italian Riviera where we find Sardinera in San Remo, or Pisciare in Bordicaro, or Pisciadella in Ventimiglia. But if you want to taste a great and true pizza, it is in Italy that you will have to do it, where we find pizza and similar preparations Italy, Naples, Rome, Palermo, and Italian Riviera. Number 2. Baked Lasagna At the base of all cornerstone of best Italian food, fresh pasta accompanied by one of the best known condiments in the world, bolognese sauce, more often known simply as bolognese. Bologna, the cradle of one of the richest and most attractive regional kitchens in the country, is the capital of ragu, a sauce made from a sauce of celery, onion, and carrot, to which are then added finely chopped beef and often small additions of pork and tomato concentrated, long and slow cooking to obtain a thick and fragrant sauce that goes to season fresh pasta such as tagliatelle or stuffed like classic tortellini or even. In our case, it becomes the protagonist of the baked lasagna. Generations of S. Fogline, women involved in the preparation of fresh pasta. Number 3. Spaghetti Carbonara Rome becomes the capital of spaghetti, and carbonara has great merit in this, becoming over the years one of the most famous dishes of our country. It was born casually with bacon, powdered egg yolk, milk, cream, and cheese, all foods with which the Allies who liberated Italy were equipped and for the imagination of a young cook from Bologna who assembles them as a pasta dressing in preparing a lunch for American officers. The recipe has changed a little over the years and today includes guanciale, introduced in the 60s instead of bacon, egg yolk, cheese. With the passage of fashion, the cream disappeared in favor of the taste of the preparation. In a gastronomic tour of a Rome capital of pasta, the carbonara is accompanied by the mythical Amatricina, originally from Amatris on the border with the Brazo, bacon, pecorino cheese, and tomato, or its ancestor the Grisha. Same ingredients but without tomato, or the Casio e Pepe fusion of pecorino cheese, black pepper, and pasta cooking water. Number 4. Pesto From the French Riviera to the Cinque Terre, our basil sauce is the true gastronomic flag of the Italian Riviera. Like almost every recipe, even famous, the origins of pesto are uncertain and, and confused. Only towards the end of the 19th century is there any written evidence, but certainly the sauce is much older. Today, the recipe is composed of a few ingredients, Ligurian basil. Outside of Liguria, this plant tends to have a menthol flavor, Vesalico garlic, which is a slow food presidium, Italian pine nuts, grated Parmesan cheese, and Sardinian pecorino cheese, extra virgin olive oil, and coarse salt. True pesto should not know about heating from blenders or other gadgets of our times. The good old mortar and pestle remain irreplaceable to get the best. Chefs from all over the world are using pesto in the most varied ways. But here pesto is the main condiment of pasta, whether fresh. In Genoa, you can easily find fresh dough preparations, lasagna called mandili de si, trofiad, or nakai. The recipe with dry pasta are the trinette, which are also often accompanied by chopped green beans and diced potatoes. Number 5. Fiorentina 
The Florentine evokes in the collective memory a large beefsteak. Few outside Florence know exactly what it is and what to expect after ordering it. Most of the time, a piece of meat, even abundant, scorched of irregular thickness and difficult to cut, reaches the table. The traveler should know that there are two Florentine cuts and are known as steak in the filet and steak in the rib. Generally outside of Florence, when the good is good only the first is known. The real Florentine is obtained from specimens of Chian in a breed. The meat should be matured for about 20 days, and when cut it looks like a classic T-bone steak. The weight must vary between 750 gr and 1250 gr with a minimum thickness of three fingers. Before cooking, the piece of meat must be brought to room temperature. The flame must bring to a very high cooking temperature, and the times must not exceed 4-5 minutes on each side. No addition of cooking flavors, only some coarse salt at the end. It goes without saying that the Florentine steak only has one blood cooking and the inside must be slightly warm. Those who do not like cooking with blood are better than asking for another dish. Number 6. Fritomistu Mixed fried seafood has become in the last 50 years one of the iconic dishes of Italian food even if snubbed by the most refined kitchens without real roots in traditional cuisine and without a codified recipe. It is true that there are fritty misty in some regional kitchens such as in Piedmont, where the most disparate and apparent contrast ingredients are fry and clarified butter such as sausage and apples, or semolina and liver. Or in Rome, where the traditional fried food is based on vegetables and cod. But in none of these traditional kitchens are there recipes of mixed fried seafood. Yet, from the 60s, starting from the French border and arriving at the Slovenian one, after having made the rounds of all Italian coasts including islands, you will not find a seaside resort where this specialty is not offered. Fried is convivial. It makes you happy. It is eaten in company and more easily with your fingers. What do you need for a good mixed fried food? The variety is often given by what the sea offers. Squid, anchovies, small sardines, sole, red mullet, prawns. But if those who offer it do it seriously, you will always have a very appetizing course on the plate. Number 7. White Truffle The White Truffle a mushroom that arises and matures underground has become one of the status symbols of rich and elegant gastronomy. You travel from the four corners of the world to arrive in the Mecca of white truffles, the Langa. And the Langa has rightly made it one of its symbols in symbiosis with some of the largest and most famous wines in the world, above all Barallo, known since ancient times, but less so in France and, for this reason, it does not appear in the great 19th century in classic recipes of the first half of the 20th century. It is not yet cultivable despite thousands of attempts and related scams, and from here arises the justified myth of its rarity. Number 8. Anchovy, or Alice The most famous of the so-called blue fish is one of the flags of the poor Italian cuisine of regional tradition. We find it almost every season of the year and in Italy, as well as throughout the Mediterranean. It is fished along all the coast. Unlike other blue fish, often looked at with suspicion because of too many bones or the meats that tend to dry up during cooking. Anchovy triumphs on the tables of every seaside restaurant and is appreciated by all types of customers, which makes it also a product of great commercial interest. On the Italian coast, especially in Liguria and Campania, the tradition of solving anchovies is alive, to be added to a thousand preparations or to be the basis. The dissolved anchovy is then also preserved and marketed in oil. The triumph of this fish is still on the table and in front of a plate of fried anchovies there is no local consumer or tourist who can resist. Number 9. Tiramisu Never has a dessert conquered the whole world with the speed of the very Italian tiramisu. The ingredients that are the basis of tiramisu certainly suggest some restorative function as well as delicious. Later fingers soaked in coffee, egg and mascarpone cream, cocoa and so far the classic base then enriched by an alcoholic touch, marsala, and with a little bit of diluted rum. This dessert is one of the few truly widespread throughout the Italian territory. At the beginning of the 80s, the popularity of tiramisu infected the whole world, and already in the 80s, it became the cult dessert in the restaurants of the Big Apple. New York becomes, for our dessert, like for a thousand other fashions, the launching pad towards world fame. In Italy, we find tiramisu a bit in all restaurant segments. It is loved by young and old, and everyone has their own recipe. Even the great chefs and the best pastry chefs have dealt with tiramisu creating curious and interesting interpretations. Number 10. The Minestrone Even with a thousand different versions, vegetable minestrone is a dish that unites the country from the far north to the deepest south. Dish symbol of Italian dinner until the 70s has suffered the oblivion of many other dishes of the regional home tradition. Today, however, 
He raises his head, and the variety of soups that our country can offer tickles the papillae of foreign visitors, especially those increasingly numerous, coming from Eastern European countries and from the North, who have rooted the habit to include soup in their meals. So that's it for today. If you like this video, then please hit the like and subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching.